two, three, four. The world was so big, and I was so small. Your voice was always the loudest of all. Hey, we got a great show for you today. The Brad is here, so let's kick it off. Old school style. The Brad. Da Brat. Da Brat. Oh, the Brat. Da Brat. Da Brat? Da Brat. Oh, he's going old old school all that on you. Ah. Please welcome to the stage, Da Brat. Oh, don't you remember what we said, Danny? No. You you need to give her a round of sound. A round of sound. Oh, my God. That's right. Why did you say that? Because that was just what it was. Give that a round of sound the, yeah. for Britney Spears. Yeah, that was just the. Uh, Give a round of sound the for the new the radicals. Intro. Who? The new radicals. You gonna get what you get. I love go, that song. Go, Say what you will. Go. I mean, that was a great one yeah. wonder song, but they never did nothing after that. Well, no. That was the end of the What no. year was that? That was like 98. Yeah. 97, oh. 99. 47. 94 and 95 was the pinnacle of uh, rock and roll. That was my favorite shit, man. I think that's the general consensus that was of my, the well, world. Well, no, the, well, Homer Simpson says- 94 oh, yeah. was P's, my favorite it, shit. It, it, no, rock and roll peaked in 1974. Yeah. Yes, yes. All right, welcome to the Adventures of Danny Mike. To my right, Mr. Danny Tamborelli. Uh, a long way to get here. Yes, and to his right, Mr. Michael C. Morona. Here I am, Uncle Mo. Thank you, ma'am. And our guest for this minisode, what a blessing. What a treat. Lori Beth Denberg's here. <laughs> Hello. I stayed from the last one. <laughs> hey, LB, do you have any plugs for us? Do you uh, you got anything going on? Uh, you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> See last episode. I am yes. not the best businessman. Well, we thought uh, maybe... You need just new uh, attire then. Hey, look at that That's food all. truck. It's so big. It doesn't look like it needs our business at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we we thought that uh, we, you know some of these many episodes we we listen to voicemails that people send. Uh, Mike uh, uh, usually is remembers the number like a uh, steel trap. You talk about three four seven four seven zero eight one five zero. Right. So we got some. Did of these... you notice his eyes didn't even look up no. there? Does Not that only... spell something fun? Oh, maybe it's like a demonic oh, we can make satanic. It. We can make it. Yeah, we'll change fun. it. We'll change it. Well, no. Uh, the trick is to make it say something out of uh, like refrigerator magnet. Poetry. Yes. To figure out what it letters. could spell. Right, right. Spell. Mm. Potentially, because you have three letters for each number, so. I challenge you to do that before your next recording. Well, done. <laughs> <laughs> Gauntlet, that challenge accepted. Gauntlet uh, thrown. Yes. Um, but anyway, yeah, we usually listen to some voicemails. I figured uh, maybe you have a, a spin on some. Maybe we could. Uh, I think we need a woman's perspective. Yeah. I think it's been entirely too male in this uh this, this voicemail mini, so, listening yeah. space. Okay. So, uh, I'm down. Let's right. let's let one rip. Let's huh? get you to it. Just just jump in. This is our life, Lori Beth. This Isn't is it fun? I just started season three of the Adventures of Pete and Pete, and I want to know something, Danny Tamborelli. How could you sell the house? How could you sell the house? That's fair. How could I sell the house? How? Mm-hmm. Very easy. I'm pretty sure he went to. I hired a real estate yeah, agent. Purple dot dot com or what the fuck is it called? That's it. And they found people and they wanted to buy the house. Guess what? I got a pretty penny for that house. Okay. Mm-hmm. Who cares? Did you get a commission as well? But do you like how that person, Lori Beth, does it? That's not that person's real voice. They're, well, yeah, they're adding they're like adding a, a little pizzazz. Oh, you think to they put a put it, a character? They get on? excited. It did sound like a sixty year old rural man. <laughs> but you don't have to take my word for it. <laughs> I just started <laughs> I just started watching the adventures of Pete yeah. Pete. Over here, we right. just started getting that. E- easy now. This one is uh, much longer. Well, that was the end of it? That was all he said? That's I wanted like to know why. Like okay, I'll turn it up. The um, This one has a lot of F-bombs, just uh, putting it out there. Oh, please. Oh, for the listener, uh, earmuffs. Earmuffs. This might not be suitable. I want to call and say I grew up with uh, Danny and Mike watching you guys on Pete and Pete. Fucking blew my mind growing up. Uh, I would have killed myself from you guys. Jesus. Um, yeah, I mean, it's probably your game like here. I don't know why the fuck you guys only have like 300 or something odd subscribers. I mean, it's bullshit. That's true. We agree Thank that you. that's We're, bullshit. I appreciate I'm that. Spread the word here. You can think it's. You guys, numbers are up for this. Just insane. Thank you. <laughs> Our numbers are 347 470 8150. Um, you know. 
I'm sure you guys will be hearing back from me. I didn't hear too many F-bombs. I mean, we can always hear back from you because you're just going to call in and leave another message. You know what's weird? We Prior look forward to, this, to it. When, when Mike and Danny and Jeremy were explaining the whole phone message thing, I said, do you ever get any that are like, I can't go on. I've got to end it. And you're right. And then this guy calls up. And threatens to. To kill himself. No, he no. doesn't because he doesn't, no, of you. Yes. The reason he didn't was because of Pete and Pete. That's, uh, that's, <laughs> that's some something. deep shit right Read there. Read the room, Jeremy. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. Um, so this the, the, the translation on this one is kind of... Uh, the, the there trans- were lots of F-bombs. The transcription? And then there was a B, uh, B asterisk, 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 asterisk. Yeah, thanks to the good people Wait, at... Uh, B, one, two, but three, I don't know four, what five, that five, is. Bastard. That's bastard. Biche. Bitches. 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 With a B. But I thought it was supposed to say YouTube. <laughs> so. uh, Thanks for yeah, calling. This is, this is, you know. Did they identify themselves? This is no? why we, uh, this is why we have the phone line. This is why we fight. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there, uh, there's some, you know, they're just all different kinds of uh, little snippets from around the world. Yeah, some, sometimes one was people. Shtick, one was real, one was dead. That one had to have been recorded really late real. at night. Yeah, in a bucket. Yeah. It felt like oh, late yeah. inside night. a bucket. That guy was a little bit high, I feel like, or tipsy. Maybe a little high and tipsy. We, tipsy. We've had, uh, we've had people call who are calling just for me. We have people call call just for Danny, and sometimes people call just for Jeremy, which is really mm-hmm. strange. This is a person. Sometimes someone's going to acknowledge Jeremy. Is it your mother? Call me. This Back is, finally. <laughs> this, this is, is the only. The, this is the only one you. This is the only voicemail you check regularly. <laughs> this has now become the Mister Show pre-taped call-in show. If you mm. want to talk to Lori Beth, please call us at three four seven four seven zero eight one five zero. Go ahead, and we'll Jeremy. let her know. And that's true. If you, uh, yeah, I mean, we hey, would look. we would love if we'll you pass, send us some questions yeah, for we'll Lori Beth. Them we'll pass them on and yeah. get oh, some please. answers. We could read them out loud if they're not too annoying. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, we could just Skype you on the line when we get oh, enough of correct. them for you. Yeah, oh, that'd be cool. because of technology. Technology, you don't really have to be here. We l- prefer it if you were here because it's I know, great and I it's like wonderful. You guys. It's it is it is really nice. The cool. fact that you came in this morning and then called me. Early in the morning, and said it was a booty call. I knew my day was going to be uh, at one hundred. Beautiful. Yes, they say. yes. Oh, you can keep it one hundred all day. I'm going to keep it one hundred. Well, speaking of keeping one hundred, Emily has left us a voicemail here. Let's see what she has okay. from Portland, Oregon, our right. beloved Portland, Oregon. Hello, Danny, Mike, and Jeremy. This is Emily hey. from Portland, Oregon. It's Emily. Um, longtime fan of Danny and Mike. Grew up with Pete and Pete as many. Uh, did, I assume. Um, Jeremy, I'm She's not happy wrong. to say I have grown to adore you just as much as the other two. No way. Two questions. One being if Pete and Pete were to grow up in television land today, what do you think those two gentlemen would grow up to be? Question one. We'd like to, first let the, let's let Jeremy answer, and then we can answer. No, well, no, let's let no, Jer- Lori no. Beth. Let's let Lori Beth answer. Yeah. Ah, I want Lori Beth's fan fiction. Absolutely. Of what P wow. and P could don't be? Don't ship us. Don't ship us. Whatever you do. I feel like God. What a trip. Now I feel like I wish I'd watched them all before I got here. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, there were two people uh, born with the same name. They're different rela- times. They're brothers. Brothers. They both have red hair. Well, in all red fairness, hair. they weren't born with the same name. They were given the same name. Well, I like that. She's right. She's there right. There was a name tag on one of us. Okay. Yeah. It was a skin tag. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. A little uh, Pete would be just killing it somewhere. Oh, killing it. I like but that. All right. I but I feel as though maybe it would be in prison as a boss. <laughs> <laughs> it working or I make inmate? I make the best uh Pruno. Toilet wine. You make the best Pruno. I, ma- I, I make the best toilet wine. For that wine ramen ever. thing. What's that called? Is there a real name? Is that Pruno? Is Pruno. that what it's called? Mm. Oh, that's great. But that, I mean, the and question. And then Big Pete is a prison guard. Oh, wow. <laughs> at the. Okay. So, at so you're saying, same facility. So you're saying I'm a union. So you're saying I'm a unionized worker, which is good. I'm in a union. Strong yes, union. You're strong. Strong union. And, you're and a he's, good a good, one. he's a good older brother. He doesn't tase me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just don't worry, bro. I'll just fake tape. Yeah, you. Don't put my, fa- you. you just fake. I, I, I put my thumb. I put my thumb on the button, you. and then they and then don't I separate just... us. Well, because even though you have similar last names, they know you couldn't be brothers because you have the same first, first name. name. Yeah. <laughs> so it's this loophole. Yeah, we get away with it. Right. They just don't know. Yeah. 
Oh, look, Officer Wrigley. Oh, the question number is, 3214, a.k.a. Little the, Pete Wrigley. Yeah. The question is, and I'll put this to you three. Go ahead. What is Little Pete in jail for? Ooh, what oh, was okay. he caught doing? I would think uh, he was putting uh, bubble gum under some important desk or something. You know what I mean? He was just like, they lifted in it City up Hall. over the years. In yeah, City Hall. something like important, like mm. the, the Declaration of Independence. The rest of Emily's uh, question with the, um, what do you call it? The... The guts of the question. Yes. What do you, What do you think she What do you think she wants? To well, the first us? question. Yeah. Where Where we would Yeah, I mean, where, I think where that's are, we would live in so what your, space would be. You're in jail, and if I'm a the prison show, guard. The show is Oz with us. Oh, no, you're a guard. You're, <laughs> a, prison and you're guard. a guard. Makes me remember. Makes me re- regret re- auditioning for Oz. <laughs> Did you oh. audition for Oz? Yeah, dude, I auditioned for Mayhem. You know the guy who's Mayhem now? Yes. Mm-mm. Yes. No, but I still, I don't, no, think, I still, I don't the, think he's called Mayhem. Yeah, I don't think he's called Mayhem. Nation, whatever the commercials yeah, are. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Nobody expects Mayhem. Um, And then uh, I guess you're the security officer. That's that's that. Security that, that whole... officer. That's really a nice way of saying pig, dude. Thank you. Uh, okay. Cool. Wow. wow. Question two. And as a second reality-based part to this question, being from Portland, Oregon, and I know you guys have visited what places do you absolutely have to make a stop at when you're in town? Okay. All right. I know Mike's. Best of luck to you all in your adventures, and have a great day. Thanks, Emily. Bye. That was really sweet. I feel like Very Emily's nice. got Very it together. Sweet. She put yeah. some thought yeah. into it. Um, she prepared. I mean, that's, that is what we're looking. Especially for somebody who lives looking, in Portland. That is, it, yeah. Uh, you know, Whatever. That's, that's what we're textbook, looking for. Textbook that's voicemail. That's a textbook voicemail. Yeah. Yeah. That's for what we're li- looking for. For the listener. We're holding Clear, it up. Clear, yeah. concise, and sure. mentions Jeremy. Thought and thoughtful. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah. And, and talks mentions about, Jeremy for a hot And second. talks about <laughs> coming around to the sound of Jeremy's voice after an initial gritty breaking in period. All right. Well, so what's your uh, your when you're in Portland? What's your what's your go to? I definitely don't go to Voodoo Donuts. That's what I was gonna say. Oh, we I know go, you don't go to Voodoo Donuts. I go to Powell's. Books. Has it gotten too commercial mm. for you? No, they have these these um these. Captain Crunch donuts that cr- scratch the roof of your mouth. Oh, I go to, Captain I go to Crunch Powell's scratches group. the roof of your mouth. Period. So mm. it's not like it's like that's libelous. Don't don't order that ba- uh, that bagel. Don't order that donut bagel. Yeah, get the grape donut. That was my favorite. Okay. Was it made of a grape? I think it was just sort of. I think it was a grape uh, yeast donut with grape, some sort of grape, like uh, wine, wine yeast, sugary slop all over the top of it. Okay. You really, you really, yeah, you really paint a picture. Uh, have, you ever, have you ever been to Portland? I don't know. I have never been to Portland. I would recommend it. It's fun. There's a Starbucks in the airport. It's great. What? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you I, never I was see able, that. I was able to get a matcha right immediately. Nice. Favorite favorite Portland story, and I've told it before. Please. The TSA at the airport made me just dump out some of my hot sauce instead of confiscating it. Oh my gosh, that's Aww. right. Was it already open? No. It was more than three ounces? It was over three and a half ounces. And I had just gotten it from Ryan, who we had played a show with Aww. in Portland. He has this uh, awesome sauce company called Sawsome. Oh. And uh, yeah, I was Man, happy Man, to- right there, the terrorist did win. Why? <laughs> oh, because we can't take our oh our awesome gosh. sauce on the yeah. plane. Yeah, so that, um, I would always go to Olympic Provisions. What's that? Olympic Provisions That's, is great. Uh, a place uh, when we were there, Toby Huss took us out, and uh, oh. the owner's a friend of Toby Huss. So if you see a salchichon, you still haven't told me or a what salami. It is. It's like a. It's like a. Uh, Do you even know? It's a food. Empor- <laughs> it's an emporium of food without being the food emporium. Mm. We went there for brunch, but I think you and but they took us in a cheese room, and I just sniffed a lot of cheese Aww. as it was aging. Is that a cave? Is it a cave if it's above ground? I don't know. I don't know if it. I'm matters. going through the. Pl- I'm sorry. I, I'm, the text. I'm going through my text with my buddy who lives in Portland okay. to remember where I went to. Ah, Psychic was a great place for sure. It was a good bar. And He's cheating. Food. He's cheating, cheating by checking his checking. No, his I look. Mary's. You can't necessarily remember. Yeah, we went to Mary's Look, the strip club. Well, that it was turns like out that five, all, six years ago that we went there, and I have all those memories. Yeah, but trying to think all of Danny's memories are from bars where he got so fucked up he can't remember where he was. <laughs> no, Homer I just can't Simpson remember the indicator. names. No, there's a place called Life of Pie that had delicious pizza too. Oh, okay, it's okay. That all had right. nothing to do with alcohol. So Emily, thank we're, you so much. Yeah, we're and, in favor of a lot of places, and I'm and I'm happy to 
step into any one of those uh, marijuana dispensaries. Yeah, there's several great ones. So oh, yeah, one. someone handed us something on the sidewalk, and they're like, here, dude, it's hash oil. And we're just like, ah! That seems like a smart thing to put in your body. I ate <laughs> something that someone gave you on the street. A stranger, like, yeah. You know what's un- very unverified. Funny? What's very funny is that Toby Huss, who was already oh yeah, we got was, a lecture from Toby, extremely upset with us for taking candy from strangers, cookies, yeah. cookies, cookies from, from a fan. But I come from the I come from the heady fish Grateful Dead lot. Like here, take people this. People give you man that all music sorts sucks. Of ga- ganja goo balls. Give me. Do you want to buy some weed? Do you want other illicit drugs? Look, that guy looks very fucked up on something. I think that's what I want. Here's a Lara mm, bar with, you not, know, here's a Lara no, bar saying, with medication. Nobody was there. It. Nobody is there like trying to like hurt people. Now I think it's a lot different with like fentanyl and other shit yeah. that people don't know what's cut with it and people are getting sick and can die from that stuff. I don't feel like. People were like going to these shows to be like, yeah. Let's in in conclusion, out. Portland is a land of contrasts. Mm. It is a land of contrasts. Mm. Thanks, Emily. Emily. Thank you so much for sending that in. And we'll forget see about you in Jeremy Thanks, sometime. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to ruin it, but uh, maybe we may be two for two here. Two for two. Hey, Danny. Hey, Mike. And who can forget Super Producer Jeremy? Hey, oh! I just wanted to call in and show you guys my appreciation. I've been uh, Patreon since the very beginning. Wow. Hey, he's giving um, us a, a couple bucks. Really, you know, uh, P&P was, you know, like many of your fans, was a huge part of my childhood. It's very kind. I uh, like to go back periodically and watch through all three seasons. With a time machine um, or? Wait a second, stop. On DVD. He said all. He said three all three seasons. seasons. It's very difficult to watch the third season of P and P. Bro, unless, we salute. We salute. Unless bootleggers you want to watch, unless you want to watch on a terrible uh, screen on YouTube where it's not A little window burn. Yeah, it's just it's not the the it's not four three. We salute. We salute you out, getting it out you know, there. Whatever. Mm-hmm. I just want to commend that person because that's yeah. you know it's a challenge. That means that it, it takes a Maybe lot. Maybe he's watching his original taped VHS copies. You could. That's and how fair. many of those do you have? None. What? I had some of the actual, like, you know, released. The orange yes. tapes, we called them. Yeah, but that's because we work for Nickelodeon. We could get those for free all the time. I guess. You went up, you I went lost up to my the teeth office, with... you pulled off, you got t-shirts, I think I hats. probably bought, I don't know, I loved Pete and Pete. I was so, like, my mind was blown. Nice. Did... And then I showed up on your show and screwed it all up. I worked <sighs> one season with you and you're like, fuck this. I'm, I'm out. out. No, I'm, I was in, all in, all, well, I'm almost sorry. all the way up to my elbow. And then, st- <laughs> <laughs> you know that that Tool song, Stink Fist, was you wrote that? Yeah, yeah, about me. Hit, yeah. hit play, yeah. Mister. It's based on a true story. <laughs> if here's a question: if if you were if you were able to give yourself a role in Pete and Pete, what would that role be? Oh, that's a good one. This is a tough one. This is why he's the producer. I feel like maybe, and I, I'm not remembering all the episodes, but I'm feeling like maybe Big Pete was off on something. Parents had to go out of town, and I was there to babysit little Pete. Nice. Oh, that would be great. That'd like be a, a, you would have been a babysitting you would type been a scenario. sick babysitter. Awesome. Yeah. I would have really hated you in the beginning and tried to mess with you, and then by we the became end, best friends. You're both yep, eating that's broccoli. That's what I see. That's ah. what I think. Oh, my God. That's really smart. Smell a reboot. Is yeah. that the reboot movie? That is That is what, the first That is the first. Meanwhile, five you're minutes. like a million years old now and I don't know why you'd need a babysitter. He's in prison. Well, because he I, need a no, because I have a I have one of those ankle bracelets on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not I didn't know to you played out. I didn't know you played soccer. <laughs> the ones that aren't on D V D but you know we won't go through how I got those. Um, oh see so he's yeah. seen, so thank you guys for, for the podcast. It's always fun to listen to and we didn't get a name. No. We didn't get a name. We want to say thank you to you. Well, if na- you're name. listening because you listen all the time, yeah, leave us a clearly name. heard that that was your voice, so yeah. we thank you. Thanks Call a lot. back and just say your name. That's it, and, and then, then hang on up. <laughs> I mean, we could call him real quick and thank- just ask for his name. Ooh. That's setting a precedent that I'm not sure I want to open. No. <laughs> all right, here comes a long one. Oh, wow. Uh, I guess, do we have enough time for this? Let's skim. <laughs> let's one. skim. Is this okay, Jeremy? Did you preface any of these? This is the... No, I mean... I go from, hey, he's doing a great job producing to I'm listen, looking at this the same as you. I can't... You want to go through the 10-minute one or we'll go through the 10-minute one? I was going to skip um, it. Let's do it. No, and it's you started talking about it. 10 minutes? All right, listen, this is going to be the last one then if we do this one. Because <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a big one. Lori, Beth, get ready Sportsman for a humdinger. Talking. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, let's see what happens here. Shtick. Hey, guys. Nope. Uh, this no is stick. Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Humble County. Identify I himself. You, uh, Humble. Oh, Wait, Ryan from Humble. Think we, back around Christmas. You remember this one. You got me on a $20 uh, the Patreon. Yes. We got a you. Um, a month. Bastards. <laughs> and, and, anyway. You monsters. Uh, I wanted to uh, <laughs> say, because uh, last time I called, Mike, you... Uh, Mentioned I didn't have a question for you. And I kind of took that offensively. Not, no, not really. But uh, of course he did. Not at all, Ryan. But uh, I, I wanted to know specifically for you, Mike, because I know you're more of a why you didn't like that I didn't have a maybe, question. Maybe uh, little P Danny. Just kidding. But uh, no. Uh, track five, side B of uh, Jay Dilla's J Stay Paid. I don't know if you've heard that. That track, that track, Dillabot versus the Hybrid. Okay, but I would suggest checking that out, you guys. Um, that also wasn't a question. I mean, first of all, Dilla is a pretty <laughs> amazing producer. Yeah, that's. But uh, two for there's a good reference in there, so I suggest checking that out. Thank you, Ryan. I will. Um, if you haven't heard it, Jeremy, can you take a so that was my question screenshot of I that guess. again? Is that, that yes. still wasn't a question? Um, but it's okay. Let me see. I wanted to say he's checking his I'm notes. watching Slackers right now. <laughs> oh, he's uh, really in Michael C mode. Crazy. Um, I don't know why Jason Schwartzman had six toes. I thought that was kind of strange. Oh yeah, wasn't that cool? Um, <laughs> dang, I, I think we made it from. Putty. I wanted to say as well, they should combine heavyweights. And dodgeball, right? Make it heavy balls. This is my uh, stop it million yeah. dollar idea. That is stop a billion it. dollar idea. Stop million, it. Not... stop it. Heavy balls. Heavy balls. Stop it. What, what are you saying? That? Stop. What are you saying? Stop it for? Ryan, heavy balls. Ryan, keep on going, Ryan. I like that Ryan has definitely like cards on the wall with his pitches. <laughs> he's got, he's, he's like, in a writer's yeah, room. So, uh, oh, oh ne okay. Next Let's move heavy balls to next week because <laughs> next we've week really it, got that album we need to listen to. <laughs> next week is, is Emma Stone and Vampire Weekend, so yes. heavy heavy balls will drop at the same time. All right, here it comes. Here's the uh, last minute. The denouement. Kind of have like some kind of crazy reunion, some something like that but anyhow um i don't know i just i got the feels got the vibes and feels check you it check. down you have the like highest I'm, patreon tier dude i come here in town so yeah anyhow right. you guys come to the west coast uh, i think Oregon, sounds like a west coast you guys would Oregon? Take Astoria. <laughs> there's some good brews up there Astoria. Oh, yeah. um, love Astoria. pause so it for please, a second Astoria. Yeah. Astoria is a town in Portland that's got a lot of like crazy shit going on. There's a underground like community, and they're like underground like tunnels like and stuff. Like chuds. Like they got Shanghai. Like what? Because it was on the water. It was right on. What's that? The Columbia River. That's the. Yes. I think. Yeah. The Platte. So the way that the the way that the, the city is the situated Willa is Willamette. that there's like an entire like underground like city with connecting like streets and all these things, and it was because. People were getting Shanghai back in the day. Uh oh. So there's a lot of crazy things going well, on in the story. Somehow we should I feel go like there Shanghai and not go. Shanghai isn't PC anymore. Can you oh, can you think of a can you, you think know what, of a LB, better you're term? Probably right. I so, mean, I don't object to it. But can you come up with a better what, term? What is a term for being kidnapped and forced into uh, it, but labor on a boat? But it's specifically. But it's very specific. When you get Shanghai, it's because you are drunk and then taken advantage of. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to answer because everything I was going to answer is 7,000 times worse <laughs> than ever Shanghai was. I'll share some of my thoughts after we're off the air. I was, I was going to say, maybe you can... Can uh, you just give us one one that's, you know... Uh, probably just not. periwinkle blue, not full blue, just periwinkle it, blue. No. It's, <laughs> right it's all or nothing. This is all I, or nothing, so... Uh, for the listener, I can't wait to get off the air to hear yeah. this. Yeah. Ryan uh, <laughs> will be able to hear what uh, Lori Beth's answers are and nobody else. Yes. Unless you come and see us at patreon.com slash Danny and Mike. Oh, with yeah. the Here's what I'll say to that guy. I have a question for you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, wow. so Ryan, I just wanted to say down, hello. Bro. I, uh, you know, I just wanted to let you know that I, uh, this is a question for both of you. Um, hi. Yeah. 
Yeah. We Coming are. To the West Coast. We're looking forward to coming up to Humboldt County, bro. We oh, are. Yeah, yeah. We're due for a West Coast. I mean, live show with Lori Beth would be is a no brainer. Oh, fun! That'd be oh, a lot yeah. of fun. Anyhow, uh, Jeremy, thank you as yeah! well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. Keep in, keep it coming. Keep on keeping on. You know, God, I dig that four twenty episode. That shit was hilarious. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. Um, you know what I, I want didn't from know this you guy? Were so proficient. Uh, besides Mr. a urine test, Morona, no. on that. <laughs> I want this guy to have like not hung up his phone properly. Oh, and then, and <laughs> and then here, just hear like then the next life. seven minutes of whatever he's doing. <laughs> oh, I think we would some, we would we'd know some sound effects we might hear. But then it's like, uh, yes, we're ready for you in surgery. And he's like, hold on, <laughs> hold on, I gotta leave this. I gotta leave this message for like my. You just hear that his my guys. life is nothing like we thought. Ryan, keep it Expertise. cool, man. Yo, he's um, saying he's your proficiency and expertise. Holiday partaking. Of the holiday but, uh, partaking. That means anyhow, that you know how to make yeah, a good show bomb. Gun, you're, you're, you're a Shogun, mister. So, Oh, thank you. Don't, uh, thank you for getting my Shogun line from that's Slack. That's when it cut off. Oh, that's it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I hope he's okay. Yeah, Ryan, we, we do hope you're okay. <laughs> uh, if, if there's any listeners in Humboldt County already. Please go check on Ryan. Yeah, ground, do a safety check, please. Yeah, let's safety just check, check on in. Ryan, please. Let's check in on Ryan. Um, we are so happy that you keep listening, and we love uh, to generate content for you, both in the free space and in the paid space. Mm. Right, and Ryan, as a Patreon member, you can see this video, so... Please, That's correct. Please feel free. <laughs> I'm glad what? everybody. What? <laughs> I had no Oopsies. idea. I forget that that blue thing over there means that the uh, microphone's on. It's mm-hmm. in five, four, three. Yeah. Uh, for the li- for the stupid. audio listener, you would not stupid. get that. That was Michael's okay. countdown. Uh, for the Patreon subscriber, you're going to see exactly what he was doing. Uh, and it was magical. <laughs> the Adventures of Danny and Mike is produced by Jeremy Balin. That's later. Um, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash Danny Mike with the answer out. We have a voicemail we just heard from 347-470-8150. Uh, Please call us. Check us out on the- leave, leave us questions. If you have messages, questions. If you have messages for Lori Beth, we will pass them yes. along. Yes. If you have will. messages for any past guests, we'll and, probably yeah. pass them And along. honestly, you have but an iPhone, we could just, you could voicemail it and send it to us and we'll play it. Anytime. That. Yeah. Absolutely. Because um, you can't find her on social media, okay? She's just elusive. <laughs> she's, I'm so bad she at it. Exist. It's okay. She's elusive. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's a I need quality. A millenni- if there's a millennial out there. You I think there is one. Who's not fucking weirdo psycho who would like to help me with my social media. Millennials yeah, are killing Call this, the is the moment. Yeah. this is the moment Call right the now. 347-470-8150. Let I, us know. I, I have a lot of tweetable ideas I think. She's, she's got to get them out on I think to, to do it. She's got to get them out there on digital mm-hmm. paper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I guess I don't have that big think... hole in my heart that <laughs> can only be filled by you. supposed to fill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Check us out on the Last Podcast Network at thelastpodcastnetwork.com. Slash. Nope. No, no, no slashes. Slash. Well, shows. There you well, go. I'm saying there's a lot of murders. Uh, you can find this gentleman here at D Tamborelli on the Twitter, at Danny Tamborelli on the Instas, uh, Michael C. Just is at Michael C. Difficult. Marona on the Twitter. I am at Remy Balin on most things, at Jeremy Balin on the Twitter. I mean the Instagram. This has been a really cool guest. <laughs> Lori Beth here for Give a, a shout for Lori Beth Denver Yay. on the mini. I had so much fun with you guys. Leave Thank your voicemail. You. Thank you for making this happen. We really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah a lot yeah. of fun. A lot of fun. We'll Bye. see you next time. Bye. And thanks for calling in, everybody. The Adventures of Danny and Mike stars Danny Tamborelli and Michael C. Marona. The show is produced by me, Jeremy Baylor. This podcast is part of the Last Podcast Network, which can be found at lastpodcastnetwork.com. Make sure to check that out for a ton of great shows. For more information on the guys, visit our website at dannyandmike.com. Also look us up on Twitter at Danny and Mike with the N spelled out. And on Facebook at facebook.com slash the adventures of Danny and Mike. Thanks for listening. This show is made possible by listeners like you. Thanks to our ad sponsors. You can support our shows by supporting them. For more shows like the one you just listened to, go to lastpodcastnetwork.com.